I'm Ting Yu Chen, and you can call me Claire if you like. Actually, this topic is my master's degree, uh, master's thesis, so I feel so nervous now. It feels like I'm having a pre-oral test before my graduation. <laughs> So the topic today is keyboard participation, an analysis of Gabriel for collaborative participation by the open source community. Well, I'm studying in National Taiwan University and my major is political science. I'm also the writer of Gabriel Civic Tech Grant. Uh, Everyone knows that democracy means people are the masters of country. However, in reality, due to time constraints, social complexity, geographical, and other costs, uh, most countries implement representative democracy thanks to the advances in information and communication technology. Mm, di uh, direct democracy becomes possible. Sorry for PowerPoint. And so uh, we can see that the Arab, from Arab Spring, Wall Street, and Sunflower Movement in Taiwan, people uh, organized as a community unit. They use internet to engage in politics. Uh, 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 sorry, sorry, I am not familiar with it. So, so in Arab Spring, Occupy Wall Street, and some forum movement, we can see that the digitally native generation employs technology to participate in the dynamic society in the form of communities. They engage in keyboard participation in various ways from virtual conversation to real power of civic engagement. So Gabriel established in 2012 this civic hacking community which produces many projects related to public issues and the impact and they invented many civic texts to promote the civic engagement. Uh, so I want to share with you my observation for Gabriel experience from social science perspective. Uh, my first contact with Gabriel was in 2014 in Summit. I have to write an article to, uh, to write about the Sunflower Movement, how the media work in Gabriel. So I was so confused for my first met because uh, uh, I don't know how Gabriel works. Is there any possible for organization or community without any hierarchy? There is no representative, no leader. And I can't understand so many geek words. And I didn't know the open source culture before. So it was interesting, but also a challenge for me. I want to understand how it works in Gabriel. So the adventure of manga begins. Uh, it's really difficult for the beginning because I can't understand so many geek words. Uh, this is the uh, analysis uh, written by a foreign researcher. It's the follower analysis between the uh, open source community internationally. So we can see that Gaviro is the um, popular one in international society. Uh, for uh, I want to analyze why Gabriel can thrive. So according to Clay Shirky, uh, a successful community can uh, can break down into three success elements, which are plausible promise, effect tools, and accessible bargain. So the promise get from community must be sounds plausible, not too difficult to realize. Back in 2012, before Gabriel was established, citizens would wear discount of politics with slogan code for a better society. Gabriel gave the people the uh, society they want. Uh, the first 
Subgeo's project transformed budget data into an interactive website and infographics. The once dual and difficult understanding data become easily understood. People can find out where their text was spent. That, me that made people think they, were, they have the ability to change something. With CVTech, they can comprehend public issues well than before and even comment or initiate their opinion. Uh, with the collaboration tools and world divided missions, Gabriel make it easy for people to contribute. Anyone is welcomed in Gabriel. If anyone complains why nobody does this, participants would answer you, oh, you are that nobody, you can do this, you can be the first one. Everyone is capable of making things come true. So the second element is effect tools. Suitable tools can help organize people well. So, uh, Reduce the cost of communication and collaborate. In Gabriel, participants use Slate and RC to communicate to each other, exchange ideas. They use Hackpad for collaborative notes and store their code on GitHub. It's all public on the internet, so everyone can provide their opinions and improve it. And the, these tools has the features to facilitate citizen engagement. They are decentralized, diversity, time, space, compression, and interactivity. This all help lower the threshold of participation, make everyone easier to participate in politics. So the third element is accessible bargain. This is about how people interact with each other in community. In Gap Zero, all the achievements should be open source. That give contributors guarantee that what they devoted for won't be monopolized in the Sundays. Also, release early and release often is originated from open source culture. It encourages contributors to share their projects so everyone can comment and provide opinions. Provide opinions. Also, there are some core participants dedicated to cultivating constant of contribution. For example, when someone says it would be better if this project has new functions, so you can answer him, them. Oh, uh, maybe you can try it. So, and these other skill stickers in Gap Zero, they encourage people to push someone in a hole. That means uh, we encourage you to do the contribution. You complain it, so you, are, you will be the first one to do this. Uh, so uh, it encouraged to check volunteers. Also, people in Gabajiro, they uh, generally affirm the contribution. So this kind of certification from affirmation will become a motivation for contributors in Gabajiro. So after this analyze, I want to find out how to perceive the model work in Gap Zero, but I read so many uh, papers, I can't find a fit one, because most of the civic engagement research, they didn't uh, analyze it as a civil community unit. And they, there are a few research uh, about impact of open source culture and the collaboration roles in civic engagement. This is the research field I've analyzed. It's about civic engagement in virtual communities. Uh, this uh, community, virtual community use internet tools will re reduce the mobilization cost. And the open source and crowdsourcing research, also the research about ICTs and in civic engagement. So this model, sharing co cooperation, collective action, is the model built by Clay Shorkey. I think uh, it's a proper one to portray the action in civil society. So I integrated it with some elements from deliberative democracy. This is the one I address meant for the civil engagement. For the sharing stage, um, for the sharing stage, uh, engagement costs the least. The premise of sure is information disclosure. Government information should be released to society. Share between people reduce cost of information collection for a person alone. With abundant information accessible, citizens get a chance to know issues well based on share. Cooperation requires participants to compromise and follow on consensus made by everyone in projects. Conversation is the most common from 
of cooperation. Participants can express and exchange opinions about public issues. Cooperative production is more complicated. Participants can launch a project based on their consensus. On this way, they can make more people aware of these issues and win over people's support to even enjoy in. Collective action costs highest in participation. The goal of this stage is to make things come true. So now I will apply this model on Gap Zero and give some examples. For the first stage, the sharing one, there are three different types of share. First type is convert offline paper into digital information. For example, the record of political contribution is stored in the country in the form of paper book in Taiwan. So one of the projects in Gap Zero collaborate people to copy record from the country and transform it into digital data. So the second type is transform difficult information into visualized infographics. For example, we know budget is an important issue we should care, but it's too difficult for us to find out all the data and check how much money was spent on what things. So this project presents data in visual graphs, help citizens know every budget and the debt government spent. The third type is making a platform incorporate scattered information. For example, also we are support, supposed to review every candidate's political views, what they did before we vote. But we barely do these things before we vote because it's too difficult for us to check so many information. So these projects collect political view, attendance record, and vote record in legislative run of every candidate. This platform helps citizens to check the information they need to know before they decide who they want to vote. So for the next stage, participants share consensus would cooperate to do the project. They will use the tools to integrate their contribution contributions. So for example, uh, the, country, uh, the, mention, the case I mentioned before, people, they copy the data from the country room and upload it into internet. So everyone can transform it into digital data. So, uh, there were about 10,000 people contribute within 24 hours on first day. This project can provide participants consensus, help them win over more support, and even attract more citizens to join them. So for the last one, the collective action. Participants are determined to make change. So they want to initiate their projects as policies. There will be three different kinds of results. For the first one, objection, government rejects it or intervene in projects. For example, one project established a website based on governmental data. It's a map for people to inquire house price. Government has its own website, but it's not user-friendly. So the version of Gov Zero is popular among people. However, government condemned this project was illegal. It didn't apply for the data. So the government block it. People um, uh, block it. The second is neutral conversation. Some projects in Gap Zero play the role of platform. People and agencies possess different values and opinions are welcome to communicate in this open field. For example, Nation Development Council can present the advantage of free economic pilot zone plan on Gap Zero project. The participants can also present the disadvantage here. Through the presentation of facts and contention, people can understand issues better. So the last one is acceptation. All the projects in Gap Zero are open source. Will anyone to fork or merge, merge into their projects, including government? For example, Mon Dictionary project was accepted by Ministry of Education. So sometimes officials and civil servants cooperate with Gap Zero. For example, the Taiwan, this project was proposed by Minister of Without Portfolio and Co collaborated with volunteers from Gap Zero. So this model is a dynamic evolution of the community. We can see that the community has a shared cooperation collective and it will turn out for three different results. 
and citizens can join in in any time. Due to openness, uh, openness of GAP0, citizens can join in community anytime. The openness of GAP0 itself establishes community as an open field. Anyone can participate, sharing, uh, help citizens acquire ample information, afford to participate in politics through cooperation and uh, through, uh, through cooperation and collection action. Participants can deliberate their views, make consents, and realize it. The boundaries between the community inside and out are very vague. So citizens can support projects, contribute to any projects they like. However, there are lots of projects, lack of car management, and were suspended for the neutral conversation and acceptation ending. Since project has done so many things to promote information spread and deliberation, we may judge that the decisions citizens made are credible. Also, information transparency makes sure the accountability. So for the last part is a limitation. Uh, also, Gavadero may seem to bring a glimmer of hope, but it's not a perfect mode yet because uh, as I've mentioned, there are so many projects suspended and a lack of management. So it won't come to the last one for the neutral conversation or acceptation. So I think the Civic Tech Grant Plan is a really exciting experiment for this moment. And this Civic Tech Grant will provide the fund for the projects to maintain. Also, the second limitation is how to bridge the digital divide and threshold of collaboration culture. This will help the collaboration with, between GovGero and NGO and governments and help the citizens to engage in politics more. So this is my topics. Thanks for hearing.